What's up guys, Luis Mendez over here. Just wanted to put a quick little video together to show everybody the shoulder band traction series, okay? There's uh, you know four main steps that we need to go through to effectively you know, gain the benefits of this whole process. Uh, if you're an individual that uh, suffers uh, with some shoulder, chest, lat tightness, this is definitely the series for you to utilize when doing any type of upper body mobility, uh, upper body workouts, whether it's push workouts, whether it's pull workouts, we definitely want to increase a range of motion in our shoulder joints so that we can maximize these movements. The freer or the more movement we have in that joint, the better muscle connectivity we're gonna get when we press or when we pull, okay? So, if you're somebody who's hypermobile and you really have you know, good shoulder mobility, don't waste your time doing this band series. Maybe you should, you're the type of individual that should be focusing on stability type of exercises, okay? Um, one, one of the big flaws that I see here at the gym, okay? One of the other things is, the, the most important thing is setup, okay? So let's start off with setup. Setup is always key, okay? A lot of the times you'll see in the gym, people set it up on a crossover machine. I'm at fault for this sometimes, but um, you know, if you're four foot tall, five feet tall, just barely, you know, something along this high, you know, seven feet in height, might be too high for you, okay? So, I'm gonna show you a different setup, which is just gonna use the crossbar. I'll use this side for angling purposes, okay? All you need is about, a, uh, you know, about six foot height, okay? So you just put it across the frame, okay? Pull it nice and tight. All right, just like that. Most often the setup you see with people is on the crossbar, nothing wrong with that, but once again, it's kinda high, it's gonna take your shoulder to probably too much flexion, okay? So, um, the setup around the wrist, another common fall, we wanna make sure that that band is properly set up on the forearm, so right along that radius and ulnar, okay, joint. We don't want it around the hand, because the whole purpose of this series of movements is to traction out the shoulder joint, okay? We wanna traction out your your, humor, your your humerus out of your shoulder joint, okay? So if it's pulling at the hand, you're gonna get a lot of traction and occur at the wrist. So let's get it right around that forearm, radius ulna, okay? The next thing is, feel like you're doing kind of like a little bit of a, feel the band, okay, by leaning back as if you were doing a little bit of like a jump shot type of thing. At which point, just fold your hand down Interweave it, interweave it between your fingers so the band doesn't slip off. What this is gonna allow you to do as well is not grip the band. If you're gripping the band, we're creating tension along the arm. We don't wanna create tension, we wanna create relaxation, release, let the tissue relax so that we can actually address the muscle groups that we're trying to, you know, basically stretch, okay? Anyways, four main stages. I'll run through them real quick, okay? The f I like to think of it as a clock. The first one, you're facing a clock, okay? An analog clock. So, at this point, that would be the first series. The next one would be nine o'clock, so quarter turn. The one after that would be six o'clock, okay? The next, the next one would be three o'clock, but I can't get to three o'clock from this point of view. So I'm gonna go all the way around and get the arm across my body. So those are the four main points that I want you guys to keep in mind. At each point, at each stage, we're gonna do about two to three different movements to release the tissues that we're trying to address in the body part we're trying to address at that point. At the first stage, 12 o'clock, we're gonna hinge on the hips, chest to the ground. The key here is relaxing the arm. Okay? And pull back to create length from the anchor point to our hips. From this point, just start to wave. Dance the movement all the way to the right. Okay? Four, five, six times, whatever you wish. At this point, we're, the next part, part number two, is you're gonna smell your armpit and turn to the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So the purpose of that is to just get some thoracic rotation, some spine rotation, okay? So we're addressing the lat, the main muscle group here. What you can do to finish up this specific point now is 
traction, your shoulder blade down, so that we can get some trap three, trap, trap two activation. So not only are we working on mobility, but now we're also working on some stability. From 12 o'clock, we open to nine o'clock. All we're trying to accomplish here is once again, tractioning the joint, the humerus out of the AC joint, okay? Create some space. All we do is put our feet together and just lean away, supinate the hand, and just exhale. Really try to relax your body so that we can create space. A lot of times we're sleeping on our shoulders, right? Or, you know, we have shoulder tightness, so creating distance is, is essential. Second part of this movement is retracting the shoulder blade down. Keeping the shoulder away from the ear, we are tractioning down. Once again, activating that trap three, trap two. Quarter turn once again, face away. Here, just by keeping your feet square, parallel, you're just going to lean forward and feel the stretch, introduce the stretch to your pack. Supin in your hand, play with your hand. You'll literally feel all the tissue just working there. Turn your chin away. Get some fascial lines involved and release the most amount of tissue you can. From here, we're gonna take a step forward with our left leg and stagger our stance. And now we wanna get into the deeper tissue that we're trying to stretch, okay? Inhale, exhale right down. Inhale, exhale. Once again, lunging down and forward, facing away. The last position is that three o'clock position. We're gonna come around, okay? And from here, we're trying to address our rear delt and our lats, okay? So, what we can do is we can go from this position and just lean away and look away. Really feel the stretch across the rumble. Second position could be also, we kneel down. Right arm is in the, in the, in the band, right knee is in the ground, so the same side, okay? Once again, face away. Notice how I let my arm relax. I'm not creating tension and I'm not pulling. The second part of the movement, we look under the arm and turn to the ceiling. Exhale. All right? So at each point, you want to make sure that you do three, four, five of those passes. Okay? Now, if we look at my right arm versus my left arm, so I have Mark gonna angle up here. Tell me if you see a difference between my right and my left. All right? That's how much I've been able to release all these major muscle groups that contribute to shoulder tightness, pec, pec minor, delt, anterior delt, latissimus dorsi. A lot of muscle groups that when we're in a seated position become very short and tight, okay? So use this video as a good, quick guide to helping release these shoulder movements, okay?